Y'all, please tell me y'all have seen this man's video. In case you haven't, I'm gonna tag him below. But in the video, he's in a place in Oregon and he sees what looks like a door in this like mountain cliff face, this door. And it straight up does look like a door. So he said that when he first saw it, the door was open and that he watched it close and it looked like something was peering out at him. And this intrigued me so much. So I spent hours yesterday just digging into this in every way I knew how. So this is the location where he's at. These are the coordinates below. Now he mentions in his video or in the hashtags giants, that he thinks there's giants in Oregon, which could be. But my first thought when I seen this, the Moon-Eyed People. I've talked about them before. These are the little people of Cherokee legend that live inside the mountains and they only come out at night because they can't see very well in the daytime. And very similar to this legend is the legend of the Nunahee of Blood Mountain in Georgia. And there's a particular legend associated with that place that speaks of a door just like that one. A secret door that opens up into the interior of the mountain where this race of immortals live. In the Moon-Eyed People legend, they are spoken of as small, like dwarves or elves. But the none of are described kind of like shapeshifters. They can appear small, they can appear as a normal sized human or larger, and they can make themselves invisible. And they live in these subterranean cities inside mountains. So I had to dig really hard to try to find out, does Oregon have similar legends to these? And they do. I can't pronounce these names. I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna put it on the screen. But this is the name of the little people of the Cascade Mountains. And this particular spot, in the Cascade Mountains. It's on Quartzville Drive, not far outside Sweet Home. The name of these little people means ground people. They are said to dwell inside the heavily timbered peaks and ridges of the Cascade Mountains. They are described as small, about two feet tall, and can become invisible. But other than being small, they look like regular people, and they speak in a language that sounds like birdsong. They, like the moon-eyed people, are believed to only really come out at night, and they will call out to each other in what sounds like birdsong or whistling. And so it's said if you ever hear that in this area, you should never respond to it. Because if you answer it or try to follow them, they have the power to drive humans mad. Another tribe in Oregon speaks of another legendary race called the, which also means ground people or people of the ground. They're also said to reside inside the mountains and are described exactly the same. Like legendary dwarves with supernatural abilities. And they are often referred to as baby feet. I guess in comparison to like Bigfoot. A lot of these baby feet legends have actually become obscure and lost to time. You can find references to them, but it's kind of hard now. But there's a few places in Oregon that legends of them are responsible for the name, like Baby Rock, Babyfoot Lake, Babyfoot Creek. And it's also said the baby feet come out at night. They call to each other in birdsong and that they possess the power to drive humans crazy. And people that have encountered one often find later that they've lost several days time. This is also common with the Nunahee legends in Georgia. These creatures or people or whatever are also said to uproot trees and throw large rocks, a lot like the Bigfoot legends. But they rip up the trees because they use them to build their homes inside the mountains. And so sometimes at night, you will hear these loud booms and cracks and like small explosions. And it's these little people ripping up the trees. However, I'm not gonna completely dismiss the giant thing because in several stories related to hollow earth, giants are said to guard the doorways to protect these subterranean cities from people who may stumble across them. So when I was trying to find this on Google Maps, I didn't actually know where it was. So it took me a while to find it. But in the process, I think I accidentally found another door right here. And do you see it? It looks a lot like the first one. Is that not a second door? So my question now is, um, has anybody seen this one? Is it open too? Are they connected? Cause that looks like a door to y'all, right? Just like the first one. I don't know, but I really wish somebody would go knock on both of these doors and just, just see what happens. However, it is said that there are other entrances like these all over the world. Doors that lead to a world underneath our own. But what's odd is that over time, a lot of the locations where some of these rumored doors are supposed to be are now occupied by um, military bases or declared off limits by the government or monitored by some kind of officials. And the guy that posted the original video did a couple updates and said something about the military possibly following him. So if any of y'all go check this out, and I hope you do, just be careful. Don't answer any whistles and stay away from the military because I don't want none of y'all going missing. I would feel really bad, but I really want to know if that door opens and what's behind it.